Hi everybody, today I'm going to talk about Zipscope by Avon. This is a professional or proclaimed professional digital microscope and it connects to your computer through the USB port. So uh, let me start by talking about what I found that I don't like about this microscope. One, the um, 10 to 50 magnification is purely related to how close you put the object to the lens and focus. That is like totally something I wasn't expecting. I actually thought that I could, you know, rotate some sort of a ring and it would magnify depending on, on the position of the ring. Uh, I didn't expect you had to move the object to change the magnification. That was uh, quite the letdown right there because there's a lot of situation where you want to have something stationary and you just want to change the magnification of that object and you don't want to move the object. Another thing that I didn't like was this focus ring. I would have much have preferred if this was done via software where it's either mo motorized or maybe even the ring would be a little easier to rotate because it's quite hard to rotate and when you rotate it the entire thing moves. There's pretty much no way to not move this thing while rotating this ring. Another thing that I didn't like was the fact that it has the uh, these buttons right here, I, I found them to be um, unnecessary. I would have much preferred that all these buttons would be software because, again, you press on something or you move the switch and this entire thing moves and it kind of defies the purpose. You want everything to stay fixed. Let me uh, talk about what I did like about this uh, device. I found that the... Uh, Photo quality was decent for for the price. I also think the construction and the build quality is pretty good. The uh, stand, while uh, people on Amazon were kind of not liking it, I think for what what we pay for is very reasonable. I think it's a nice stand. But again, it doesn't work well because any movement that you do to this ring basically moves the entire thing out of position. But if everything was done electronically, you could just set it and forget it. And this is actually a pretty good stand for what, what it is. So let me talk about the software a little. I found that the software was really archaic. It was not intuitive. And I they should have made pretty much everything uh, have some sort of a shortcut via key. Like, for example, to change the resolution, you really have to go through a menu and change the resolution. And let me tell you why it matters. Because if you do it with the highest resolution at 16 by 1200 pixels, there's a major, major lag. It's practically impossible to focus while at that resolution because of the lag. Because you move this ring a little and you don't get you don't get real-time feedback and you move it too much so what happens is I, ha I had to revert back to the lowest resolution focus nicely and then ramp up the resolution so let me show you some macro shots of this microscope this is the top this is the ring let me take it out of the base There's uh, eight LEDs with three intensities, really. Eight working at the same time, four and not at all. There's this button, which will take a photo. One, most intense, two, and off for the LEDs. This is the uh, stand which is made out of metal, has a nice metal screw. I think it's built very well. And a nice foamy back or stand, and it's really non-slip. Good stuff. So what is my conclusion here? 
Basically for uh, $70, which is what it cost, I found it to be, I don't know, you know, it really, it really depends what you're doing. It may be the thing that you need for whatever project you're working on. For my specific uh, applications that I wanted to, I found this to be a little inadequate, especially with the, the fact that when you move the ring, everything moves. It puts everything out of alignment. Is it, is it worth $70? I guess you're going to have to be the judge looking at the photos that I took at the end of the video. So if you like this video, please thumb up, subscribe, put in your comments, questions. I'll be happy to answer any questions. And uh, I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching and bye.